Hello there and welcome back to my videos. In this video I want to speak about the bootstrap view and how the calendar basic working. And the calendar is uh, it's a style where you can have a big calendar showing for the for the client and it's uh, working pretty good. And then you can uh, let the client uh, pick some dates and do something if you if you, cr uh, if you code it. And uh, then you basically can say this date is disabled and between this date is disabled and uh, this date is highlighting like if you have a have a holiday uh, like a hotel or something like that then you will mark out um, uh, about uh, which day is uh, high season for the guests so that's what I want to show you here today and I really hope you stay stay with me and uh, watch about the basic for the calendar in the bootstrap view. Before we type some code, I will be very happy if you want to subscribe to this channel. It uh, will make me proud. And uh, if you like this video, you are welcome to like this. And of course, share it with your friends and add it for a playlist. And then if you need something from this video, you can find all the links below in the description. It's linked for my GitHub. So you can just follow me on the GitHub if you want. And, uh, I think that's the information you need before we are starting. So let's begin. The first uh, we want to build up here will be the B row. Column. Also here. And then we just say B calendar. We have it here, and what we want, it's uh, we need a V model, and that's what we selected date, and then we need the context, so we can see what's happening. And then on location, I will just say in US. Normally, if I'm working for myself, I will create uh, the Danish one because I'm from Denmark. But in this case, I want to build uh, the US so you can understand what is inside. B and then select the date. I'll just say code. It's much more nice and then select it. Date. And then we're going down below. And P class and inside here context. And of course, we cannot put this working because we need it inside here. So, selected date should be nothing, context should be null and then we have a method we will build on context and cg, cgx this context is equal to cgx and now it should work everything here is, is purple so that's good let's go into the browser and see what happening now you can see the, the first calendar we have creating. You have the, the full calendar here, and I can just click around here, and the value here will change, depends on what I'm changing. And that's pretty good, so that's going back for the next step. Now I think I will show about, you can have uh, like the read only, and you can have the normal one, and then you can have um, a, a disabled one so you cannot touch anything and for this we need a, a B row again B call and I just see B calendar and that's becoming the tree time and it's pretty easy you can have a read only here and kind of disabled and then we can going back to the browser one more time and see how it's working you can see this one it's a disabled one and this is a read only, so you can just see what's happening if we have a selected date. But this one we can do whatever we want, and uh, that's pretty cool. Read only can be if uh, some clients like 
it's going inside and want to to see what days a freelancer is available and uh, and cannot book the time and then you can say and this one is active so you can just change the date so if you need to book a freelancer then you can do this and the disable is it's just saying you cannot do anything about it you cannot read it you cannot uh, use it to anything so let's go back for the for the editor now when you know a little bit about the really basic about the calendar and it's pretty easy to figure out and then i'll go in for the next step i'll just copy this up here so we don't need to type it one more time and uh, remove the disabled one and then one the first calendar we want to create now will having um, the the maximum and the minimum updates uh, with that i mean we will block like a we'll setting from the the, the 15 uh, three months uh, two months behind and then we will stop with the 15 with the two months in the future and you cannot pick the date where it's uh, it's below that and and uh, higher than that so that's what we want to do for that we need to be model and uh, select it date 2 about 20 and then we need to say the minimum dates should be uh, min, min date we just call it minimum that's fine and then max is max inside here and okay it's, it's in and then I got going down here to say uh, Select it is nothing, and then we need a minimum and a max. And I know that's not the good one, so I'll just put it up here, a script. And uh, for that, I want to say const now equal to uh, now equal to new date. And then we say the today get okay, through there. Yeah. Now get month and now get date. Now we have the data objects. So now we need to const mean date is equal to new date today and we will create the same with the max date and going up here and say the minimum date set month and the minimum date whoops get months minus two and minimum date set date which equal to 50 and then we just copy those two lines because we need the downs below and put it inside here to max max and max and we can just say plus then we're going down here to, to that and say max date and minimum date and if we're going back for the browser now, it's uh, we have it down below here. This is the first one, so if I'm going back, you can see it's, it's blocked here with the 15. We cannot pick those. If I'm scrolling in, in the future, we, we cannot do, do the more than July. We are in uh, May right now, and then we go in June and then July. And if we're going back, we cannot say we can say March and April. So that's how we can. Uh, allow a, a between data is if if you have something like you need to book in in a freelance in the two months in, in the future and the next one i will show you this will be this calendar it will be how we can uh, uh, disable dates uh, inside here i know i'm speaking about the highlight dates but that will be in the next video about how you can styling the calendar 
and uh, I'm sorry to to disappoint you but then I hope you want to watch our next video of course let's go back here and prepare for for, for, for date disable we're scrolling up here and create the, the listener here so the thing we need here is a date disable and date disable and then we're going down to date disable function if n is staying for function then we're going down for method date you must date and then date something like that and then we just saying a const week day is equal to date get day and then const day is equal to date get date what we're doing here is we say which weekday we have and uh, then day we want and what I want to, to do now it's saying uh, if the weekday is equal to zero or it's number six or number 30 the day what we are doing here it's saying every uh, Saturday and Sunday we will disable those days because we don't work on that day and then every day we want to say the 30 uh, in the month should be disabled and let's see about it's working as we expected nope so let's go back for the editor and remove the tag here and let's going back for the editor one more time here and uh, then you can see uh, Sunday and, and Saturday is disabled and we have the 13 here it's a disabled too so if we go in the next month you can see 13 is a Sunday and Monday here so it's still disabled so that's how you can work with that thank you so much to stay here today I really hope you enjoy and remember to subscribe to this channel you can go in the right corner below and press on the thing then you subscribe me and of course I really hope you want to like this video if you have any questions, please make comments below and remember to share that and remember to, to know about the other codes it's, it's working on, on GitHub. So the links will be in the description for my GitHub profile. Thank you so much and hope to see you next time. Bye.